welcome to Suladan Plays, a workplace with no people. You arrive for a job interview, but something, something doesn't seem right. This is a very gray city, by the way. Ah, uh, also gravity. I, oh, wait. Oh, okay, that's the street. Okay, I thought we were doing some Doctor Strange shenanigans. Just rotating, and there being buildings upon buildings in the sky, and... Now we're in a car. I appear to be in the passenger seat. Or I'm European. I don't know which. I know I'm not European, though, so apparently I'm a passenger. A weird city. It's all gray. Also, bright brown doors that seem to keep repeating and get darker. And whoa, okay, well now we're blacking out. Man, I don't know what we what we did. This is not stuff you want. You know, oh hi. So was I? Am I the driver? Oh, oh, well, oh, 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 oh. It's like PS1 adventure game style controls. W and S for forward and back and left to right to steer. Oh, I love the modeling though. It's just that nice balance of polygonal with enough shadows to just really work well. The fact that the building is a big gray box is kind of frightening and the fact that I can just leave the leave frame is hilarious. Accidentally get lost in the void. Very nice though. Makes the game feel a lot more immersive by the fact that I can actually leave the frame. There's not like just invisible barriers, but it also could be a user-friendly thing if you accidentally wander off and have to restart. So we're gonna go in the building. It's always weird when I come across, uh, let me rephrase. When I first pick up a game that has this control scheme, it always feels a little weird at first because it's not a control scheme you see as often anymore. But it's a very nice control scheme, and it's very well done and smooth, and you get used to it quickly. Uh, it was just a different time, different control scheme that came up. And it depends a lot on what type of game you're doing on how well it works. So far, you know, this sort of storytelling works great with this camera. But when you're trying to, like, frantically run away from something or scramble through mazes, it can be cumbersome. It just depends. Your mileage may vary. And it will depend on the individual game and its design and how well the design integrates the controls. Or how well the controls are integrated into the design. You know what I mean. I'm getting the mouse out of there. We ain't using it for nothing anyway. Press escape at any moment to exit the game. That's good to know. Don't accidentally hit escape. I glanced over at the controls on the other monitor. Okay, a little trippy, you keep flicking cameras on me, but I know why you're doing it. This place is weird. I'm sitting in the chair. <gasps> There's physics! I knocked over this chair. I'm very pleased with myself. I will say the sense of depth feels a little bit wrong. Something about the angling of the camera isn't quite translating fully to my mind. Uh, depth can be difficult to get right, but it's making me go in front of things I'm trying to go behind and vice versa. Like, I know I'm in front of that, but like this bookcase over here, to me it looks like I'm... See, my shadow is kind of clipping through it in some ways that it shouldn't. Just little, little touches of detail. The light angle doesn't quite match with the, uh, the actual light in the room. Oh well, still fascinating either way. Now these are hard details to get right and things that you come back on and like polish in game design later. It's a beautiful game and I'm fascinated by it thus far. Very fascinating. Why are you... You know what, never mind. We're just gonna leave. I'm just gonna moonwalk out of here. We're just going home. None of this ever happened. Nope. Can't do that apparently. We just gonna go past your door then. Bye, crying man. Nope. Okay, well, we ain't doing that. We are officially gonna moonwalk around, though. <laughs> Don't be sad, sir. I'm moonwalking circles around in your office. Okay, fine. What do you want? 
They're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Who is they? Who they? Who be they? Oh, you gotta hit no. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Well, sir, what I say to you for this is moonwalk out the door. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. We're gonna go this way, though. Just gonna moonwalk out of here. And it worked! And this ceiling fan is all- Wow, I, I criticized the lighting one time and it just falls off the ceiling. Do not insult the game's environment or it might start to break down. Don't believe what he says. Get out of here as fast as you can. Moonwalk. All he said is they're gone, though. Okay, well, we can't go back out there. We're just gonna go this way, then. You're facing the wrong way, sir. Walk down the purple hallway. Ah. You know, we're just gonna keep moonwalking and pretend that ain't behind us. Oh, you must be here for the job interview. Follow me. Nope, 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 and a soap, soap and a rope. I'm just going to go back in here where the broken ceiling fan lives. Okay. I'm going to stop trying to go back every time it lets me because, well, it, it's been unproductive thus far. And that's just going to be a waste of time if I keep doing it. Man, I look like I'm ready for a showdown. Draw! Hey there! I saw that. I mean, I didn't see that because I was moonwalking, but... Ah, uh, Wasn't this the exit before? Hey, buddy. Buddy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live in your cubicle now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> way too many y'all. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I'm supposed to go back and stay in the foreground so everyone can properly control their game character. Well, there's lots of employees here. I don't know what you're talking about. They all being gone. I mean, I seem to be glowing quite profusely, though. I'm concerned. Are they in suits? Why are you in suits? You're sitting at a desk. Oh, look, a door. You know what that means. Good walk. Ah. Door. Is that writing on the wall or is that a shelf? Don't ignore the writing on the wall. That is not writing on the wall. Okay. Door. Uh, maybe I should have talked to him. Is this is a conveyor belt. What's wrong with you people? Why am I on a conveyor belt? Stop the ride. I want off. Much as I love riding conveyor belts. They're fun and they lead to such wonderful journeys. Can I get off? I can hit escape at any time. I know, but that just closes the game and that helps no one. with the choir of the doomed singing in the background. I did not sign up for meta commentary. I signed up for an office job. And I'm dead. This is how I did. Ah. Uh, excuse me. 
Excuse me? Should have talked to him before I went through the random door. Does the dinging ever stop? Does the dinging do anything? Click. Try to move. No, it does not. It's only so long I'm gonna listen to this before I assume the game is broken. It's getting quieter. you want it's perfect I press F and nothing happens why the why the F prompt if F do not sing So this is a commentary on, like, corporate America taking people and turning them into mindless drones. That seems to be what they're, uh, what they're doing here. <laughs> ah, it's commentary that's been <laughs> done a lot, but this is a very fascinating way of going about it. Love the choice of music. Pretty sure that's copyrighted, so we'll see. Still, beautiful music. The end. Okay, well, can I do anything here? Probably not. Okay, then. I would have left it on the, the end screen while I talked, but just on the off chance that, you know, I recognize that music and I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted. It might not be. We'll find out when I upload it. Not that it really matters all that much. Anyway. <laughs> Very fascinating little game. Uh, I personally think the experience is short to the point that some of what's happening is a little too obscure and it's not gradual enough. Like, go into building, talk to the guy, they're all gone. The room is wrong. You try to leave and boom in. Like, it's... I would have probably had more gradual stages of, like, things not seeming right or him getting the job and him being in his desk but noticing that he's the only one that seems to be an individual versus all the others and then he like gets offered a promotion and then it's the promotion where that happens or something you know you, you generally get that descent into madness where things are more and more not what they seem as opposed to it just being well i walked through a door and went from zero to a hundred uh Still, very fascinating. Love the art style. Love the lighting. Love the uh, everything, you know, what you're going for here in terms of game design. Very interesting. Very fascinating. Very fun. Not much more to say on the topic, though. Very interesting game. Uh, game is on itch.io. There's a link in the description as per always. I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next game.